Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Drac Tries, where I play a new game for up to 30 minutes and give you guys my thoughts as I go along. And today we're going to be trying out a long sought after favorite as we take on Cuphead. Don't deal with the devil. So let's go ahead and get things started. And I've been excited for this game for a few years now. I'm, I'm glad that it's finally out. Um, in case you don't know what it is, you're about to find out. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. <laughs> I like that. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy, sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's over. The devil himself. Oh, no. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. With one more roll and all the loot in my casino is your... Uh, with one more, win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed, but if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered. Pulling out a parchment, I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Oh, already, this is looking really good. So this has been a very unique indie game out in the scene because it basically is animated to look like an old 1930s cartoon. So like a classic, uh, like a classic Mickey Mouse cartoon. I think it was like the earliest re uh, reference that a lot of uh, people these days would get. So here we go. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must now play along. F uh, you must play along for now. Collect those contracts. And you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor's friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Nice animation. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Okay, so we can actually do a tutorial for this and I'm actually gonna do it just so I can get used to the controls. Now this is a really great classic way to be able to do a tutorial. So duck down to crouch, then A to jump, and then wee! Okay, so that, uh, not too hard right off the bat. Okay, right button is to lock. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. So, okay, that's what I, that's what they meant. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And then parry slap. So, press jump while airborne to nullify or interact with pink objects. This will also build your super meter. Okay. All right, that that's interesting. Okay. Resurrect, revive your dead pal with a well-timed parry on the ghost. Two-player mode only, though. So basically, if I was playing multiplayer, which I probably will do for the review, but not necessarily right now. EX move, an upgraded attack that requires one super meter card. Adulkin! Here's some coins to purchase. <coughs> Pretty straightforward, unlike that one review. 
I don't remember the guy's name that actually did that, but that review was horrible, especially when you found out that uh, the guy just didn't get it. Okay, the guy just didn't get gaming. He was kind of whopped in there. Just so that we could cover the games. Okay, so Elder Kettle has helped us out. I don't think he's going to tell us. You have to lay out all those debtors to move on. Now shake a leg. Okay, so... Here we go. Now, this is where you, how you exit. Already, I don't need to tell you guys. I love the graphical style. Uh, I love the visuals all right off the bat. Just because it's a classic 1930s cartoon. Oh, and look at that. It's like a... Mario 3 Overworld. Oh, this is gonna be a walking pile of cute. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. <coughs> but hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Oh, you received three gold coins. That's awesome. Okay, so we can get a shop. Pork Rinds Emporium. So, what can we purchase in this game? <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Chaser, so EX Chaos Orbit, long range and below average damage, no aiming required. So we can buy that. Uh, heart, extra hit point, that'd be awesome. Uh, spread, EX8 Way, short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. Smoke Bomb, Invisible Dash, and a Roundabout, so Jumble Rebound. Great coverage with average damage, aim backward for maximum range. Well, if I can already buy an extra uh, an extra hit point, I'm gonna take it. Ooh, and then uh, parry sugar, so automatic parry. The first parry you move is automatic. Or the first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Okay, cool. Goodbye. That's awesome. I like the audio already. Look at that loading screen. That's great. Except that you got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, ya bums. Okay, so, equip menu. Shot A, shot B. Do I have to equip an extra... I don't think I have to equip an extra hit point, but okay. What's this? Fortra Force Follies, run and gun. Cool, let's get into the gameplay. We've already wasted too much time. We only have 30 minutes, man. It's on? Okay. Okay, so this is basically like a classic Contra shooter. I, I like it. Already off the bat. Oh, crap. I had an extra HP and everything. Oh, there we go. So let's see how far we can go. Oh, oh boy. I have a feeling this guy's gonna resurrect. Yes, he is. So we gotta be careful with it. Now, here's my question. Can I actually eventually obtain... Or actually, I'm gonna check the options right now. Can I set up the controls to... Nope. Doesn't look like you could set up a auto fire. So I can already tell you that's gonna be one thing going against it. Like, in games like this, I really would prefer... I died. Okay. Retry. <coughs> I always prefer an auto fire button in these kinds of games. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get one this time. Oh, boom. There we go. But overall, I mean, the gameplay is pretty spot on. I, I have no complaints so far. Okay. Get over this one. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry about that too much. Okay, so now we're now we're moving at a brisk pace. Wow. That grape blew up. It blew up hard. There we go. Ow. That sucked. Ow! Oh, crap. I should have been dashing. See, that's this isn't too bad. I, I like it. 
it's got a learning curve, and I'm okay with it. Now, it makes me wonder, if you collect the coins and then die, does that mean you didn't collect them? Or can you just farm the area, if you want? Boom. Okay, ow! Oh, jeez! Right up the butt! Ow! I'm just gonna get off this one. No! Dang you! There we go. I've tried to get as far as I can for you guys. Usually it takes a little bit of a trial and error before I do really well at these kinds of games. Nope, not even, not even messing around. Okay. There we go. Okay, grab the coin. Whee! Holy crap! Acorn Maker! Mate, we must kill it! Kill it with fire! Holy crap, this is amazing! Oh, the animation's great! Hey, oh, I better not do that. Ah, dang it! I knew that was gonna happen, too. Second I jumped, it was gonna jump up. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like it's keeping track of lives, so that's that's at least gonna be a plus for people who are trying this game out for the first time and just for the funs. Just for the fun of it. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, let's go ahead and just start popping people. I love the fact that they just poof of smoke and that's how that's how you know that they they're dead. There we go. Okay, let's just keep on going. Very straightforward shooter. Shmup. Of the shmup variety. Oh, 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 oh. I've seen what your death grapes can do. Oh, can I... Can I use the spikes? They're pink. Yes, you can, actually. You can parry with them. And it's gonna take some time to get used to. Here goes. I can already tell you there's a little bit of a learning curve, and I'm okay with it. I, I actually like the fact that there's a learning curve. It gives you something to look forward to, long hours trying to learn this game. Trying to learn the ins and outs. There we go. So there we go. Okay, now I got the now I got the pattern. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Ah! Dang it! Woo! Now that fireball is kind of pink too. Ow! No. Oh dang it! I didn't type it right. I could have used that to my advantage, and I didn't. No! I wasn't paying enough attention. <coughs> I tunnel visioned. Oh, the horrible things you guys are going to say to me in the comments. You guys, you suck so bad. Guys, I haven't played a Contra in years. Well, actually, no, I can't actually say that. Never mind. I did play Contra for Dracon Shadow this year. So, yep, I guess that's just me. And yet, strangely, I'm okay with it. For me, it's it's whether or not the experience has been overall fun for you. And for, in this case, yes, it has been. There we go. Ow! I was trying to... Ow. Wow, that almost ended for me. And it ended for me! 
This is what happens. I screw myself over. Wow, is this the, is this entire episode just gonna be nothing but me playing the first level? I'm strangely okay with this, but I have a feeling a lot of people won't be. No, dang it. There we go. There we are. Screw you. Ow! Right up the butt! There we go. Okay, we got that. Okay, now we don't have to worry about that. There we go. We got the coin. Oh, boom. Boom. Okay, cool. I'm doing really, really good. I'm doing really good. Why do I even bring that up? Because it's going to make me do worse. Okay, we're doing good so far. And here's the acorn maker, so let's just go ahead and nuke him down. There we go. There we are. There we are. <laughs> I got further! I'm okay with this! And I was really close! Bravo! I was really close to the end, that's funny. Let's see how well I did! Took me two minutes to, f to complete it. Probably that attempt. HP bonus, A minus! I got an A minus, that's not bad! And you guys say I can't play video games. Okay, maybe it's just me a lot of the time, but you know. You know, one of you guys said it. Capan! Oh my gosh, he has a theme song. That's even better. Uh, what's down here? Bot uh, botanic Panic. Oh, you could actually... So these are levels, and you can select... Huh, you can select difficulty. I don't remember that being offered for forced foolishness. No, it's just run and gun. <coughs> okay, so Pork Rinds Emporium. What can I get here? Can I get an extra HP? Nope, won't let you. I'm almost tempted to get, one, get another EX. Automatic parry, invisible dash. Let's do this, actually. And now you get lobber. Medium range and good damage with a slower rate of fire. Boy. Well, let's at least try out the second level and see how well I fare. I'm not saying I'm going to do the greatest, but we'll, we'll see how well it goes. Oh, what's this? Ruse of a news. Oh, and this one also gives me a difficulty. Huh. I'll have to keep that in mind. And it doesn't look like I can go that way. What about over here? Oh, let's talk to you. Be gone, spirits! Oh, wait. You're real. I was about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you fellas mind moving on? You're spook you're spooking the fish. <laughs> I get it. Mausoleum. What what's a mausoleum? Do I get to see my past lives? See how bad I sucked? A great slam and then some. Really? Wallop! Well, okay, so this is like a mini-game. I like that. Okay, I'm doing really well. Parry persistence. I completed 20 parries. 
Okay. Oh, crap. You died! Oh, they can't make it to the urn. Okay, got it. Got it. I know what I'm doing. Will it? Let's see if it will. There we go. Okay. Pretty straightforward. There we go. So how many do you actually have to do before it gets difficult? Yay! Yay! Ah, I guess I'll just keep on going until I answer this for myself. Okay, the little ones move faster, so I gotta keep track of those. Boom. I'm doing really well so far. This is going really good. Victory! Yeah, baby! Okay, so what's in here? Gosh, I don't know how to thank you boys for saving me. Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I am known as the legendary chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. There are other mausoleums around Inkwell Isle. I just wonder. So that gave me what? Extra magic? I wrecked it. You unlocked a new super. Okay. That's pretty cool. Dear me, you mustn't forget that new magical super hearts have to be equipped in the menu before use. Okay. So, super, and then super art one, energy beam. Yay! Well, I think we got enough time to, to try and scope out another level. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to do. I can't go this way. So I guess we'll we'll go down to the first one that I found and see what we have to do here. Titanic Panic, uh, let's just do regular and see what happens. <coughs> if I suck it up, then that's on me. A brawl is surely brewing. Ho oh. ho! Oh, I can parry on that one. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so you can't use the worm. Oh, you can use it. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so Hadouken and I win against the evil potato. Oh, and now I have to face off against this onion? Oh, no, he's crying. Wah, no. I already have to deal with enough dodging on Metroid. Dang it. Oh, and there are pink tears in there, too. I have a feeling we could utilize those. Screw you! And there's a giant carrot. Well, we must shatter your children. I'm sorry, but we must. Oh, I died. Oh, dang it. I was trying to hit his third eye, too. And it didn't work. All right, I, I know I'm going to have tons of fun with this game. Okay, so that's how you get extra magic. Boom! Adorkin! Screw you! Potato's dead. And now it's time for us to face off against the onion. Yes, the onion. That's satirical news network. Ah, oh, crap, I missed. Dang it. Wah, wah. There we go. Oh! 
Holy crap, Kamehameha! Okay. I know what I'm doing from here on in. There we go. Oh, no. We learned our lesson. So he's a telekinetic carrot. Okay. I'm oh, I'm strangely okay with this. Ow. Oh. And I died again. Oh well. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit to the map. But hey, that was actually really cool. Um and we're actually coming up on the 30 minutes, so uh I guess we'll, yeah, let's just get back out to the map, and so yeah, my final thoughts on this, um, visually, it's great. I love the 1930s comic style, or, uh, cartoon style. Story-wise, I love, it's got a very simplistic story like most games like this do, and I'm absolutely okay with it. Um, gameplay, it's very solid, uh, unlike the other review, I, I actually will say the gameplay is very solid, it's, it's, uh, very spot on. It actually does feel like when when you're learning, you know when things are your fault kind of thing. So I, I actually do like that. Uh, I really wish I could, it's like Studio MHDR, I think, that, that actually did this. Major compliments to these guys. I actually like the fact that they took a couple of days or a couple of years and they made sure to refine this as best as they could. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Drag Trice. If you guys want to go ahead and pick up Cuphead, it is available on the Xbox One store right now. I think Xbox is right now the only place where you can go get it. I'm not sure about PC, but I have a feeling Steam will probably get something like this very soon if you can't already play it via your Microsoft purchase. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, continue to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you guys like this game, go out and get it. Support this uh, the studio so that they can do even more projects. And of course, I'll see you guys next time for the next video.